710 in time for your Pacific Rim report. Congress is trying to force China to sell TikTok. Rob York joins us from the Pacific Forum. I guess I don't yet understand what message we're trying to send to China. Well, the thing is, China doesn't officially own TikTok. The company ByteDance, which is Chinese, owns Byte, owns TikTok. The problem is that there isn't really a kind of separation between the Chinese Communist Party and its major corporations. Uh, at least not as much of a separation if uh, the Chinese Communist Party doesn't want there to be one. And so there's a question, like, to what extent does the CCP manipulate the algorithms to see what people see when they use TikTok? To what extent could they use it to misinform American audiences? And to what extent could they use it to harvest American users' data? That's another thing I don't get is the algorithm, because the, the complaint when it comes to high tech that we've always had about China is that all their high tech companies are built on borrowed technology from the US and other Western nations. But I was under the impression that in the case of TikTok, mm -hmm. they actually use a homegrown algorithm. Yes, I mean, there are definitely concerns about uh, the Chinese uh, taking intellectual property and taking technology from, from corporations who are in basically forced partnerships because that's the terms they had to accept if they were going to do business in China. Yeah. Uh, in this case, you know, TikTok itself is a relatively novel program in terms of uh, the, the format of videos that it, that it displays, and that has made it uh, especially attractive to, to young users. And that's a big part of why people are concerned and the, the, the backlash that this uh, bill has received has, has actually heightened those concerns. What do you think might be the outcome of this or one or two possible outcomes? Well, a lot depends on whether or not uh, the Senate passes this, this bill. It's already passed the House, but its prospects in the Senate are, are not as certain. And if it does, President Biden has vowed to sign it, even though he has a TikTok account himself. Uh, and then after uh, signing, would it pass the courts? There are already free speech challenges that are already being mustered against this legislation, but uh, the proponents of it will say it's not a free speech issue, it's a national security issue. Okay, so this is so complicated and so hard to figure out that none of us really knows how this is going to end yet. Uh, but it has the potential to result in some court decisions that could affect a bunch of other high-tech companies. Yes, I suppose so. Yeah, there's definitely going to be questions. A lot of people make these comparisons between TikTok and Facebook, TikTok and uh, X, or formerly Twitter. But really, this is a very different case. People could say, OK, the problem isn't so much uh, the uh, CCP-aligned company owning it. It's a question of like uh, regulation of user data, which is uh, considered insufficient. But this is a unique case. Uh, X, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want to say about them, they're not owned by a company with an alignment with a potentially adversarial nation. Okay. Well, we always wind up saying some form or another of stay tuned, and it sounds like we've got the same ending to this segment as well. Stay with us for the next edition of the Pacific Rim Report. It's